welcome to today's lesson, Coordinate Plane Introduction. We'll first start by looking at a number line. This is the same type of number line that we learned when we were talking about positive and negative values and integers. This is actually called a horizontal number line because of the way that it lays across. We can think of this as the sun coming up over the horizon. So that's horizontal. Our next type of number line we're going to talk about is our vertical number line. And this number line looks a lot like a thermometer or if we're talking about elevations. But what happens if we were to combine our number lines? This is actually something completely different and it's called the coordinate plane. On our coordinate plane, we no longer call this a horizontal number line. Instead, we refer to it as the x-axis. And this number line is no longer just a vertical number line. It is the y-axis. There's a point where both the x-axis and the y-axis meet in the center. And this is going to be called our origin. Our origin is also known by the coordinates 0, 0. So we are always going to be starting everything from our origin. Right here we have an example of something called an ordered pair. In an ordered pair, the first number is talking about where you're at on the x-axis, or our x-coordinate, and the second number is talking about where you are on your y-axis, or your y-coordinate. So because at the origin I'm at 0 for my x-axis and 0 for my y-axis, then I'm located at the origin, 0, 0. The next thing I notice about my coordinate plane is that when I intersect these two number lines, it looks like you created four separate sections. These are known as quadrants. And we are going to number our quadrants using Roman numerals. In case you're unfamiliar with the Roman numerals, the number one looks like an I, 2 is 2 I's, 3 is 3 I's, and then 4 is an I and the letter V. And if you write it like that, that's exactly what Roman numerals look like. So the way that we label our coordinate plane is we are going to always start in our positive quadrant. So we notice going across the x-axis and the y-axis, these are both going to be positive. So this is quadrant 1. And then you see this uh, big... Um, arch with the arrow on it is showing you the direction to go. It kind of looks like the letter C from coordinate plane. So if we can think every time we're labeling our quadrants that we're going to start where it's positive, positive, and then just go around in the letter C, we'll always get this correct. So because I started here, my next one should be here, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. And because I said this one was positive, positive, that means that I have a positive x value or x coordinate and a positive y coordinate. Over here, I notice that the red line, my x uh, values are negative, but my y values are positive. So that's the type of coordinate you would find in quadrant two. Quadrant three, both of them are negative. And in quadrant four, my x coordinates are positive, but my y coordinates are negative. And we're going to talk more about how to graph these later. For now, let's focus on how to identify where they are on the graph. So here I have a set of different features located on my map. And I want to know where each feature is located. Not the point, but just where it's at, what axis or what quadrant. So I start with my volcano. And I can see that my volcano is in the center here of my blue uh, vertical number line, my blue vertical number line, which is called my y-axis. My lake is located down here where everything is negative. And remember, I'm going to start where everything's positive and then number around in the letter C. So one, quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three. So my lake is in quadrant three. My camp is going to be represented by this tent. And it's located right in the center of my coordinate plane. Remember, we said that that was called the origin. Pause the video and see if you can find where these other features are located. So we should have found that our rocks are located on our red horizontal number line or our X axis. Our jungle is located down here. And remember, we start from our positive. So quadrant one, two, three, and four. So quadrant four for my jungle. My barrel is located where everything is positive. 
So that's quadrant one. And then my treasure chest is over here. So if this is quadrant one, this is quadrant two. Let's wrap up. The horizontal number line is known as the x-axis. The vertical number line is the y-axis. The center of the graph is called the origin. And there are four sections of the coordinate plane. Each is called a quadrant. We also learned what an ordered pair looks like and that an ordered pair is made of an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click to subscribe so you never miss a new lesson. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.